In light of the devastation, Mike, the response is, is going pretty well, and that's one of the reasons we're, we're going there to, to see how things are going. Obviously, this is an unprecedented level of flooding in this area, uh, which broke previous records and uh, significant impact on the communities and, and the loss of life. I mean, our thoughts and prayers go out to all of the families and the communities impacted. So when you look at the outset, obviously um, we use a lot of our rotary wing helicopters to rescue people, to get to areas that are maybe isolated or cut off. And if the weather is really bad, sometimes that limits our ability to get into there. But our air crews have done amazing work to get in there. In fact, they've rescued over 400 people by helicopter. For the National Guard, one of the good things and the benefits we have is we're based in all of the communities around the country. And so, in many cases, we're the first ones that are able to work with the local first responders and regional first responders to get in there and save as many lives as we can and try and mitigate as much damage as quickly as possible.